Well, I'm back with another headphone review. This time, a little bit different, as maybe you can see on my head. Hey guys, welcome back to TechGooch, and I have uh, some bone conducting headphones to show you now. Uh, a while back, um, Aftershocks, I think is the name of the brand, uh, kind of came out with these bone conducting headphones that were really neat, but weren't the cheapest in the world. 100 to 150 bucks you were paying for these guys, and nobody really knew what they sounded like, and nobody really had them on display to try them. So I actually got a, try, a chance to try those, and I thought they were really neat. Um, Alova sent these over to me to show you guys, and these are coming in at less than half the price of what you... Well, the retail price, at least, for what the Aftershocks are. These you can get for like 45 or 48 bucks. Uh, and they're bone conducting, bone conducting headphones. Now, I don't know if many of you are familiar with what bone conducting headphones are, but rather than having a traditional uh, audio driver that you're placing by your ears or in your ears or over your ears uh, and sending audio through the ear canal, it's actually vibrating the actual bone in your cheekbones, essentially. And uh, it, you leave your ears completely wide open. Uh, so a couple of big benefits to that is one, if you don't like having your ears covered, uh, you don't. If you're not going to be sweating from your ears because nothing's going to be in or over them, keeping them nice and warm, you're just going to have something that's actually going to be resting on your cheekbones. Now, the other nice thing about that is that you can still carry a conversation if you don't have them cranked way up. Now, I will say that they don't get crazy loud either, but uh, your ears are open so you can continue talking. Uh, same thing driving. You can use these while you're driving because you're just vibrating sound you're not actually covering your ears you're still completely alert hiking walking running you're going to be able to use these and actually stay alert these are actually in my opinion these are actually a better choice for running and, and walking than standard in-ear headphones are because uh, these at least you're still completely alert and able to actually communicate and if somebody's driving by you or talking to you or yells at you you can hear everything that's going on um, you can still listen to your favorite dunes now i will completely admit the quality of these is not going to be as good of quality audio as you're going to get from an in-ear headphone or an over-the-ear headphone or, or even an on-ear headphone experience. These are just giving you elevator type music, that background type music. That's how I, the best way that I can describe them. And if you crank this up, you'll be able to actually hear it from there as well. And actually, I can do it right now. Um, let me turn them on real quick. And see if I can... See if I can play some. There we go. So let me crank it way up. And you can probably guess what I'm listening to. Right? Because it's not completely... It's not just sending everything through the bones in my head, right? You're actually able to hear it as well. So are they the perfect experience? Of course not. But usually you're not going to listen, listen to it that loud. Let me bring it down. So now that's just the background music that I'm now enjoying a song, but I can still carry on a conversation if I wanted to. Um, and I can actually hear what's going on. I can hear everything. If I'm typing away at work, somebody comes up behind me, I can hear them. I don't have to, I'm not going to be surprised by anything because I can still hear things around me. Um, these are pretty neat. So let's bring it in. I'll show you what comes with it. Um, and I'll show you the actual headphones close up. So this is the box that it comes in, as well as the actual headphones because they are out of the box currently. Um, as you can see here, they have a kind of a protective cover that comes on it. Headphones are actually typically sitting in there just like a so. Uh, and then below here, we'll have the instruction manual in multiple languages. We'll have a micro USB cable, standard there, and some actual headphones. Now, if you actually put headphones in, or I'm sorry, not here, headphones, but earplugs. If you put earplugs in, uh, this will actually get louder. It'll, it'll sound louder because you're actually uh, blocking out the other noise around you and you're keeping all the vibrations into your ear canal so uh, if you want to actually them to be louder you can throw those in i typically like not doing that i like actually keeping it open so i can have the benefit of what they're actually designed for uh, on the actual headphone itself we do have three buttons on the top here the volume up or next track if you push and hold it volume down previous track if you push and hold and then the play pause but also the power on power off if you push and hold uh, there is also a, you can actually use this button up front, this little guy here, 
uh, answer calls, but also the pause feature as well, play pause right there as well. So quick and easy access. On the bottom of the same side that the buttons are on is where you'll find the micro USB port. Let's kind of pop it open, charge it up. And when you're done, stick that back up to keep the water, sweat, whatever out of the port dust. And that's what they look like. They, uh, they're very comfortable to be on, have on, the, on your head. Um, no distractions, and they are pretty well built, actually, for being a substantially less or a substantially cheaper product than like the Aftershocks. Okay, so not everything with these uh, is all sunshine and rainbows, right? Uh, everything has a flaw, and if it's flaw with these, in my opinion, it's playback time. Um, with these on, uh, playing these music-wise, about three hours. You're not talking about a substantial amount of playtime. Now, that's on the average, I think, 50% volume. If you have it lower, you can probably expect a little bit more. If you have higher, it's not going to get even three hours out of it. 120 milliamp hour battery in this thing. Uh, it is sweatproof. IPX56, I think, is what they claim on it. Um, and they're comfortable, so they are nice. There's a few niceties about it, but if you look at something that actually is going to give you long-term duration playback, like I said, for like at work, I don't know if these are going to be the ones I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> then again, if you're on a walk or a run, these are perfect, because three hours, you're, how often are you on a three-hour walk or run? Unless you're hiking, right? Um, so unless you're marathon, whatever. But that's what they are. Um, no, I appreciate Alova sending these over to me. Uh, they are a quality, a decently quality product for the price. Uh, do I think these are quite as nice as the Aftershocks? No, I do not. I do not think they're actually quite as nice. They're not. I, I think the Aftershocks, from my experience, now this has been a little bit, um, they were a little bit louder um, and a little bit deeper bass than these actually give you. Uh, the bass is a little lacking on these. Um, I can understand everything. I can hear all the guitar parts, but the bass is is okay not great at all uh, so if that's you know that'd be uh, maybe the, the second thing that these are gonna be lacking is a little bit on the, on the bass side of the music so um, I appreciate it. for 45 bucks for bone conducting headphone it's it's pretty solid so if you ever want to actually play around with it and try these things these out uh, I do recommend checking them out for the price if you're looking for something that actually keeps your ears open um, it's easier to pill to swallow than spending the hundred bucks or 150 bucks on the on the name brand I guess as, as it were uh, but these are a pretty solid product, and they did a pretty good job um, for what they're designed for, right? Um, charge time, 90 minutes. So, you know, if you're going to use them at work, use them in the morning, and then charge them at lunch, and then take them for the afternoon, then it absolutely would work. So, that said, thanks to Alova. If you guys want to check these out, I'm going to put a link at the, at the top of the description where you can take a peek at them, tell me what you think. I've had them for uh, a few weeks now, actually, kind of playing on and off with them on various types of music. Uh, listen to podcasts, listen to audiobooks on them, and they're they're, they're decent. Uh, battery life is not great. That's all I gotta say. Um, and I'm used to the my Bose third or twenty hour battery life, so um, that's what I'm used to. So if you have any questions for me, let me know. Comment, uh, comment below. Subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up, like it if you can, uh, and let other people know about these guys. So uh, check them out. And if you have any questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, we'll catch you back here for another future review on here, right here on TechGooch. So, see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.